there was this gentleman, he's a young and blower, and he always has this plastic bag. He has a pillow inside, a comforter. He has no place to live, and it's winter, it was really cold. And I see him, and he was trying to hide, because security people will tell him to go outside. Unfortunately, that's the rule. I just asked him, I said, oh sir, can I offer you anything? So I go, oh, anything's okay. And I said, well, I have a comforter at home because I know it's so cold. So I gather a, a bag and I got some cookies, comforters, extra clothes, and a book. So I gave him this bag and he was so grateful. He, he took from his pocket, he opened this uh, envelope and it, it was $60 because you could see it. He gave me a $5, I said, no. And he told me one thing and he said, you're giving me so much, I'm so appreciative. Well, there's a lot of food here. Do you think you could spare a little bit of it to another homeless person? I was so choked up and I said, wow, but you have nothing. He said, it's unfortunate in life that people don't ask questions. If only people ask questions, they would know. He was this most humbling being that I see. And I haven't seen him since. At that moment, he taught me one of the biggest questions in life. How to ask questions to people. Everyone goes through challenges. And if only you understand, you could see it. Recently, we did a homeless drive, so we managed to get 50 goodie bags in the women's shelters. People came in from all kind of area, and they said, let me give you money. It was the first time I organized this. When your intention is pure, is good, is kind, the universe will reward you with the right resources to help you carry to the next level. It's always like that for me.